Okay, so today we want to walk like princesses. Let's go from standing to walking. A little introduction to Alexander Technique. The problem is that because our lower limbs bear our weight, we actually tend to fix them into some rigidity and to lock the joint, lock the knees, the ankle, and the whole body becomes very rigid, very stiff. But our feet are very connected with our legs. Let's have a look at all these beautiful images, these muscles. And we really want to keep that connection and also to free that space within the ankles, the knees, the hips. We want to really keep this, the arch of the feet alive use these little tripods that you can see there in the most efficient way so we can stand and walk like a princess without using so much effort so it's very easy it's very free and before diving into this exercise i just want to say that this is inspired from alexander technique teachers that i had so henry montes tony thatcher in the uk um, sarah white anion in new york and from this beautiful and very old Alexander Technique book. Let's go into the exercise now. So again, if you can be bare feet, it's preference. And we're going to first find a comfortable way to stand. So again, notice how the heels, how the toes are meeting the ground. And you want to allow the neck to be free so the head can go forward and up and the back can lengthen and widen and check that the breath is here as well and then really allow the weight to go through your heels so don't push but really allow that and maybe you can play with putting your weight a tiny bit forwards and then coming back Whew. playing a bit with that and here you can really notice gravity which is a force allowing you to set stand and to sense the the force of the center of the earth and check that your joints are free so the ankles the knees the hips and of course also the upper body the shoulders elbows wrists and keep breathing ah. so first we're going to think again about allowing the head to go forward and up so we can free the back free the whole body everything nice and easy and we can free the ankle joints and maybe just shift the weight a bit to one leg so ooh, very easily one heel can go off the knee can slide forwards very very easy noticing the breath and gently ooh, the heel is coming back down brought back with gravity and we are standing again very easy knees easy hips breathing and then we can just free the neck shift the weight to the other foot and free the knee slightly shift the heel very easy mm, the toes are still spreading and grounding and we come back Whew, the heel is kind of going down with gravity and maybe just doing this again one more time bringing the weight to one leg freeing the knee very easy ah, the head is flying you can have a look around in the room look at the objects the color and coming back Ooh, very easy standing onto two feet and shifting the weight bringing the knee very easy easy hips and whew, coming back down and maybe this time you can free the knee free the heel and maybe the head can keep flying up but it's just taking a first step and maybe we keep walking with the gaze and the head leaving the body and just thinking about that weight transfer that shift between the joints your freedom and sometimes when we slow down the walking we can really notice it we can notice it it's easier notice the rolling of the, of the feet 
and again the head very very free so the back is still long wide and the wall will be getting a bit heavy and then maybe we can just enjoy it so we need to walk in the room how easy it can be to walk very light mm. and if the head and the neck are free then woo, the rest of the body can completely follow and we can stand again to finish with noticing how the feet meet the ground the ankles the knees free hips and the arms just resting and the head still balancing on top of the spine, very, very easy. And just enjoy, enjoy that freedom. Well done, beautiful princess. Now that you know how to stand, how to walk like a princess, you can just do anything. Just keep that ease in your body and take care. See you soon. Namaste.